bust your head on the ground, bust your brains open. You know, you better hope you're dead. Because if you live, you're probably going to be a fucking living vegetable. And then your mama had to take care of you. You'll be a big fucking baby living with your mama again. She'll be changing your diapers. Let's go for a ride. Hey, Watching Psycho Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Psycho Cruiser videos brought to you at 6 a.m. every week. Getting ready to ride my CBR 1000 fucking double R. Isn't that a beautiful bike? I absolutely love this bike, man. But in this video, I want to talk about the best type of motorcycle helmet for street riding. You know, you got a slew of different motorcycle helmets out there, guys. I've had them all. I've had all kinds of helmets, guys. In the 10 years of me riding out here on the street, I've had everything from a half helmet uh, to an open face helmet, a full face helmet, modular helmet, dual sport helmet. Most, I've had them all, or at least most of the different types out there. And I'll tell you guys that, you know, for the most part, I usually had been riding with just a regular full face street helmet in the past but I'll tell you I've come to appreciate and we got deer all over the fucking place here man I've really come to appreciate the dual sport helmet as as my go to street bike helmet man even with my CBR 1000 RR as you guys know I rock the uh, the LS2 MX 453 I think that's the model number uh, I did a full review on that helmet on that dual sport helmet if you haven't seen that go check it out but I rocked that for a while, and I really, it, I, what I love about the dual sport helmets, it provides more viewing angle, uh, excuse me, more of the viewing area out of the, the uh, windshield. And uh, it just, it's, uh, it, it, I don't know, I like it for street riding. And uh, the visor's nice too, because it kind of keeps some of the sun out. And uh, it's a good looking helmet as well. But I'll tell you, since I got this Suwami MX Tour helmet, which actually is, is better than that LS2 helmet, it's lighter. It only weighs, uh, I put it on the scale in this medium, and it was like 3 pounds, 5 ounces, compared to that one was like 3 pounds, 9 ounces. But this one has a flip down, uh, flip down tinted visor inside the helmet. So that way you don't have to put on a tinted uh, windshield. You don't have to flip between a clear and a tinted windshield. Uh, windscreen should I say uh, so it's really awesome and it's and this helmet can be converted to a street helmet you can take this vi the visor off of this helmet and it turns into a regular full face street helmet I'll tell you guys for those of you that are riding with an open face and a half helmet you guys are fucking idiots man because I tell you guys that if you go first off those helmets are noisy as fuck when you're riding at speed with that, even with earplugs, it just fucking brings a lot of wind noise in. But not only that, is that uh, your face is open to the elements, man. You get birds that can fly in your face, rocks. You know, it's just, it's, in my opinion, it's, uh, it's pointless to have that. If somebody nails you from the back and you go face forward into the ground, it's going to fuck your mug up, man. You're going to be walking around here with a, a disfigured face and shit, man. Because you wanted to uh, wear a fucking open face helmet like an idiot. Now, the, the half helmets, those are even worse. Because it, it leaves all around the side of your head, face all around your head, fucking exposed to get damaged. So, uh, what's the point? I mean, yeah, it protects your brain. But then your, your mug's all fucked up from a uh, disfigured if you go down and bust your face up on the ground, you know. And uh, the modular helmets, and I have a modular helmet, the LS2, excuse me, the Laser Monaco carbon fiber helmet is a, uh, a modular helmet, you know, where the, uh, the chin guard flips up and it, it turns into an open face helmet. Which was nice, that, that that helmet was carbon fiber, so it wasn't as heavy as some of the other uh, modular helmets out there. But uh, it was great, being able to flip that up and everything. However, I mean, those helmets, 
I don't even think they're they're not usually not dot and snail rated usually because uh, you know having that the piece that's not you know uh, immobile uh, could leave you know it could com uh, you know compromise the safety of the helmet a little bit so it's not going to be as safe as a completely one piece full face helmet you know it could get to a situation with the modular helmet where it's not fully locked into place and you you know you fall on the ground or whatnot and it, it lifts it up and it damages your face anyhow so really it's probably not even advisable to mess with the other uh, modular helmets to be honest with you but it's up to you but in my opinion for me, I enjoy the dual sport helmets because also I can go between both bikes, the CBR 1000 R and the WR 250R, and keep the same helmet. And uh, this, like I said, this helmet cuts through the wind. This visor, I have no issues with it at all, so I can leave it on. I mean, I've done over 100 miles an hour with this visor, and it doesn't—it pierces right through the wind, no issues at all. <laughs> Absolutely no pull guys. Side, side, up. Doesn't bother me at all. Share your experience with the different helmets. What do you think is the best type of helmet for you out here on the streets? Share your thoughts, feelings, experience on that. I'd love to hear it in the comments and converse with you guys. But you definitely want to make sure you guys are wearing a helmet. Don't fuck around with that guys, I'll tell you. And uh, don't be an idiot out there, man. Wear the lid if you want to keep your head and face intact. And it's also comfortable, more comfortable wearing a helmet, I tell you guys, because it keeps the wind, it keeps the elements, the rocks, bugs. When I rode without a, I did have experience riding without a helmet a couple of times just to see how it was, and I didn't even like it because I had, I get a bunch of gnats on my face, and. Um, you know, of course, you have a lot of the uh, horrible wind noise, even with earplugs. So, it just wasn't comfortable for me. But, like I said, not only that, it, it's uh, compromising your safety not wearing a helmet. I mean, your 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 livelihood, should I say, your quality of life, because you bust your head on the ground, bust your brains open. You know, you better hope you're dead. Because if you live, you're probably going to be a fucking living vegetable. And then your mama had to take care of you. You'll be a big fucking baby living with your mama again. She'll be changing your diapers, feeding your bottle all over fucking again. <laughs> You'll be shitting in your drawers. <laughs> oh, man. Whatever, dude. But if you want to see more of my videos, uh, I have safety videos. I have gear review videos. I've got motor vlogs. i got... All different types of videos, damn near 800 videos now. Go to my website, cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, my videos. All my videos are categorized in the various playlists. Hopefully you can find something that will inform you, entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your friends. Tell them to wear a helmet, man, regardless of what type of helmet they wear. Just wear your fucking gear. No squidding. So, hey, guys, that's all I have for you. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Deuces. Check out my other channel, Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlogs, where I discuss anything and everything, not just motorcycle shit.